So this is great. We have two instruments here. The violin is sort of two instruments in one. You know, baritone, we have it. Okay, so. Luis, play um, some note. Let's say, um, it's like a concert aid, whatever. A concert aid would be easiest um, to look at. And just bow it. All right, look up. Okay, hold on a second. Look, what I want you guys to do, and actually, let me go get a loose one. Stay there. Is look at the spectrum when we expose this thing, right? First off, let me show you a pure tone. Concert A, just a pure tone. This would be a boring instrument to listen to. Just one frequency. That's it. Look what we get out of the violin. Oops. Alright, let's see if this works. Yeah, it See all those overtones? Actually, keep going. Alright, stop for a minute. So, the lowest thing you, you hear is the fundamental. That's what the note is, is the fundamental. And on the string, on the violin, what's happening is that lowest one I showed you on the, on the um, piece of latex, the middle of that string is moving up and down and the ends are staying fixed and that's it. And that's what sets the pitch of the instrument. But what makes it interesting to listen to are all the overtones and actually check them all out. There's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, five or six overtones, which make this thing interesting to listen to. And if you pluck the same note, notice that a lot of the loudness shifted into the lower um, overtones, actually. But the moment he plucks it, there's a ton of overtones. Pluck it again, actually. Yeah, session. Sorry. That's kind of funny. Do it again. Thank you. 